اشهد ان لا اله الا الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على محمد وآله وصحابته الأوفياء وصحابته الأوفياء والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رمضان is a month from which Allah سبحانه وتعالى want us to learn many things Allah wants us to internalize many things from the month of Ramadan. There should be a difference in the way we have been relating with Allah, the way we have been relating with his, his creatures before the month of Ramadan. And after the month of Ramadan, all these learned lessons in the month of Ramadan, we are expected to imbibe them. To put them into practice after the month of Ramadan. In essence, all Muslims are expected to sustain the lessons learned from the month of Ramadan. Today, we want to look at another lesson, important one indeed, from the month of Ramadan. And this lesson is Al Ihsan wa Sadaqa kindness and charity. Kindness and charity. Islam taught us at takaful al ishtima'i what we refer to as social solidarity. And also Islam taught us at ta'awun bayn al muslimin cooperation among Muslims on righteousness, on good things. As a result of this, all Muslims will need to learn from the month of Ramadan how you can be kind and how can you extend the hand of charity to the less privileged prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was described as ajwadun nas fi ramadan the most generous person on earth service in the month of ramadan when jibril meet him to study quran with jibril to the extent that Abdullah ibn Abbas referred to him as being more generous more than unrestricted breeze. For those who know breeze, breeze will touch you without any connection with you. Whether you believe in Allah or you don't believe in Allah, the breeze will definitely touch you. So, Prophet Islam was described as breeze in the month of Ramadan to the extent that the companions said, La yus elu shay'an illa ata. He will not be asked of anything except that he releases that very thing to those who need it. So Ramadan is a period of generosity. Ramadan is a period we are expected to give good things to people. Ramadan is a period we are expected to show benevolence, to be compassionate with the less privileged. For example, someone that is fasting, and you that you are fasting, you will feel the panic of hunger, the pangs of hunger, just like the less privileged people feel it always. But while fasting, you will now experience what they experience. As a result of that, You'll be kind to them. You'll be nice to them. Nigeria has a case study. We are experiencing economic crunch. Some have decided not to be kind to people. But you as a Muslim, learning from the month of Ramadan, be kind to them. Today we are talking about palliative and what have you. Something that through the palliative, they can be more rich. And while those who fear the day of judgment, they have been giving this palliative to people. So, whether you are a politician, you are not a politician, use this month of Ramadan to be kind to people.